So here we've got our player registrar, which is uh, the, our application component that is called with uh, queue player. So whenever you want to queue a player, uh, this is where it goes and we're fetching the data and queuing the players. What is interesting as a metric is how big our queue is. If people are waiting in line and not playing. This is a problem for our app. So if you want to add a, a custom metrics, you can inject a meter registry into your component. And from there, uh, you can go meter registry. Uh, we can create a gauge and we'll call that, that gauge uh, matchmaking.queue.size. Uh, and we get to uh, explain how to fetch the queue size. So you fetch it from a specific object, which is the matchmaking queue, and you call a method on that queue. And uh, we're calling, so we're calling dot size on that method. So here I'm using a, a method handle, but you can use an actual longer uh, method. Uh, you, you can you can use a function basically. So just doing that, it's a one-liner. Uh, if we restart our application, so we're getting logs and whatnot. I'm gonna create some traffic again to our app. And this time let's check with the last 15 minutes. And this time we're gonna check matchmaking queues. There we go. So here we already got one point. We started at zero. And nice. if we wait a bit or inject a bit more at one point, we'll, we'll get another dot at the queue size for, for our uh, matchmaking queue. And that's a simple way to track important metrics in your app. And here we can have, an, have a look always at, at our matchmaking queue and maybe even create alerts. If the queue is getting too big, it means some kind of problem in our matchmaking algorithm and people are not playing our game.